Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. And for today's episode of uh, Suki Nihon, we are reviewing episode 25 of season 7 of Adventure Time Flute Spell. Now, this one starts up, Jake is sitting there playing a little game on BMO called, uh, it's based a little bit on Fantasy Star called um, Age of Grinders or whatnot. He's playing through it, and he's like, I've been playing this for 72 hours, I can't save. And then Bimo's like, I don't really feel like saving, and accidentally, accidentally loses all of his progress. So he's all like, okay, well, now I'm free, I can go do stuff. So he goes and he does stuff, we get some weird, he, we get a weird musical number with him singing about doing stuff. You see um, a couple of characters, like uh, we saw Maja, we saw what happens with uh, just a few other little stuff there. We also find out that uh, apparently Finn has been, for the last couple weeks, when Jake was off doing other stuff, hanging out with some new girl. And then Jake is all like, oh, is Finn back in the whole dating game thing? Because, you know, the whole thing with like his horrible relationship with uh, Princess Bubblegum or the Fire Flame Princess. Um, yeah, that, that was a lot of interesting episodes. Or, you know, that type of stuff. So Jake, being kind of the nosy friend he is, Sets off to find out Jake, oh, uh, sorry, to find Finn and find out what's happening. Anyways, um, we do find out that apparently uh, Sword Shark died of old age. We get to see Science Cat again. We get to see TV. We get to see a bunch of other characters that aren't at the forefront. Well, anyways, Jake finds Finn out in the middle of the forest, and Finn is playing a flute and hanging out with Huntress Wizard, who um, they changed her voice actress from, um, I'm trying to remember what her last, oh, her last voice actor was like, um, something Bam Bamford, Marisha Bamford, who I think is on a tour right now and has a, uh, does a, st does a stand-up comedy tour and is on, um, this new show on Netflix that comes out, I think, in about two months. And, um, so they have, uh, the lady who, um, let's see, they replaced her with Jenny Slate for her voice. And, uh, Jenny Slate, if you watched Zootopia recently, you'll note that, um, ex um, Vice Principal, sorry, Vice Mayor Bellwether is Jenny Slate. She's also from, uh, Bob's Burgers and a couple other things. A lot of these people, there's a lot of, um, people who are in Adventure Time who are just, like, they're stand-up comedians or they're part of the California animation scene. It's kind of a little collective and click. Anyways, he finds out that Finn's been out there playing this, uh, flute, because, well, after Finn lost his hand, his arm, in, I think, Season 5? Oh, the, yeah, Season 5 was part of Season 6? No, Season 6, yeah. And, um, it got replaced by that, like, grass sword arm in that episode of Breezy, which had, a uh, the episode which, um, called Breezy, which had, um, uh, Ash from Hey Ash, what you playing in it. Anyways, um, his, his, um, arm, which we've seen be more active this season. We saw it in Crossover again, but it it knows the notes that it's trying to play. So the Huntress Wizard is having him play that flute at night to try and summon the spirit of the forest. Jake thinks that Finn's just doing this because he thinks that Finn has a, a thing for, like, the Huntress Wizard. And, of course, Finn's like, uh, no, not really. And then Jake's like, well, I buy that for zero seconds. And it turns out that that's actually kind of the case. They have to try, they decide that maybe um, he needs to replace his flute with a different flute. So there's a section there where um, Finn and the Huntress Wizard go out and they um, drink this stuff from like this uh, fountain in the middle of the forest so that they can go in and a, uh, track down a cloud thunder boar or something with electrical powers. This is actually a pretty funny sequence there. He drinks a little water, it causes him to horribly hallucinate, you get a little call back to food chain, and you get a, uh, you get like, after he, d I think my favorite, one of my favorite parts in this episode so far, is like right after he does this, she just plops this electrical eel on him, just whoop, and it's, the animation there is pretty funny. And he's like, oh yeah, I guess I'm immune to electricity now. So after they track that down, they make a new flute, they go and they finally, try the new flute, and um, suddenly they realize, well, maybe we should try playing both of these flutes as a duet to get the Spirit of the Forest to show up. You find out that Finn and the Huntress Wizard have actually not been playing their flutes to try and summon the Spirit of the Forest, but because they kind of like each other, and that leads to a weird little thing where they discover, well, Huntress Wizard is like, well, we can't be together because we're magnificent creatures 
who are better apart than together. And then Finn's like, eh. He's kind of grown up a bit over this. Um, one thing to note, the spirit of the forest is voiced by Matthew Broderick, who's in the show a lot, and I don't sound anything like Matthew Broderick, okay? I, I really don't. Good. Let's get that out of the way, because like that happens. People go into videos and they're like, you sound like Matthew Broderick, or you sound like Markiplier. And um, I'm like, no, I don't sound like Markiplier, and I don't sound like Matthew Broderick. Go home, that type of thing. But yeah, uh, I thought it was a pretty good episode. The little musical number was pretty funny. We got to see the, um, we got to see what happened to Maja. We got to see what happened to the little visitors from that episode. And uh, it was just a pretty good episode overall. Lots of little humor, and um, it just pretty much shows that Finn is. He, this show is more about him growing up and growing out of these childish things and becoming more of a hero, more of a heroic character instead of just a little kid. And he kind of handles this whole thing fairly maturely. Even though, to be perfectly honest, the whole thing where, I was like, Huntress, Wizard, and Finn can't be together because, no, I would ship that. That's kind of cool. But, eh, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Looking forward to seeing what the next episode will be. Actually, this recent season, season seven, um, right after the really high stakes, or rather the high bar set by stakes, that particular miniseries, it's been pretty good. I haven't really run into an episode where I have been just like, ugh, I hate this, which is nice because sometimes like a lot of season, season one and a bunch of season two were just like, ugh. It's nice to see them doing more musical stuff, especially since Rebecca Sugar has moved on to uh, Steven Universe and such, which I wonder when that comes back from hiatus, seriously. M their, mo their new time thing on Saturday, eh, I'm not really feeling that time, time slot, especially considering that this last Saturday we had a ton of Starfest stuff to do. And we'll still have a bunch of those videos up, so if you're not here for the animation videos, Waiting to see what we have video game wise and convention wise coming up for you. But yeah, hey, if you liked this episode, hit those comments below. Tell me what you liked about the episode. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.